We've still kept our culture and our spiritual process. Don't say rural masses don't have spirituality, they are the ones who are really on. It is a common notion among people that um, spirituality is a rich person's area. So even if you look at the people who have gathered around here, we are all pretty much well off. And on, once we have earned for ourselves, we then find time to do yoga or meditation or or, or look into our inner being. But as we were discussed all, all through, uh, throughout the whole discussion till now, there are, yes, you, you yourself has, uh, have said that 500 million people are, are, sti are still malnourished and there are so, man so many people in this country who are daily wage workers, who, who um, at that point of time, spirituality and learning of their inner being would not, their mo would not be the most important thing for them. Their most important thing would be feeding themselves and their children for the next meal. Really, you think so? You uh, do one thing, you go to any so-called spiritual event in the country, will you see rural masses there or people like you in denims? <laughs> Who will you see? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, mm. don't make conclusions which are not even true. Are we trying to prove something or are we trying to look at truth? The truth of this nation is, we have kept our populations in extreme abject poverty. Nourishment is missing, leave anything else, nourishment is missing. In spite of that, I must tell you this, people ask me these questions wherever I go in the world, uh, Sadhguru, so many spiritual teachers and masters, so many great beings have come in India, but why are we so poor? Why is India so poor? Where is the spirituality? Well, you know this, 250 years ago we were the richest nation on the planet. Everybody wanted to come to India. Why do you think of Vasco de Gama or that Columbus who made that mistake? All these people set off in the oceans that they did not know and over hundred expeditions, expeditions in the ocean drowned. Nobody ever wrote about them, all right? Because nobody writes about people who drown in the oceans. So why was everybody in Europe trying to come to India? because it was the most prosperous nation. Well, in 250 years we got cleaned up. We can't… well, somebody did it to us because we can't just blame them because it is also ourselves who allowed that thing to happen to ourselves. Now we are trying to build back, all right? But even though you kept them in such abject poverty, wherever these people went, they made sure not a bit of the local culture remained. Just look at North America, South America, Australia and large parts of Africa, anywhere. This one culture, after thousand years of invasions, we've still kept our culture and our spiritual process. Not for nothing. Where we are, you know where our yoga center is, there is a police station about twelve kilometers away. This police station is supposed to service nearly a quarter million people in different levels of economic situations, all right? Some are rich farmers, some are medium, some are really poor, there are tribal communities, everything. There are only two… now, in the last uh, thirty years I've been there, at a time there was only seven, eight policemen with a ASI. Today, there are about fourteen to fifteen policemen with a SI. This is an upgrade that happened three years ago. Otherwise, even now, with these fourteen policemen, two or three will be on leave because of something or the other, and three, four are on night duty. Hardly seven, eight policemen for quarter million people. And these are poor people living in small huts, people are driving in Mercedes cars up and down, but they never pounced on them, killed them and took what they have. It never happened. This is spirituality, if you've not… if you've forgotten this, this is spirituality. You understand? Well, you don't stretch this too far. You don't take their spirituality too far. You have to settle what they need in their lives as quickly as possible. Otherwise, they won't hold for too long. But it is because of that spiritual process, we as a nation have survived in spite of all the abuse that's happened to us. And don't say rural masses don't have spirituality. They are the ones who are really on. Urban masses are losing it, isn't it? But for people who are working every day, like for example, uh, the maid in my house, for example, uh, she, let's say she works in five, six different houses, she probably is able to make four thousand, five thousand a month and at that point of time she would try to… Her, the most important thing going in her mind would be 
educating her children probably feeding herself i am saying that they do deserve to yes, have know. the self awareness and the spirituality but how will how how will okay. we how will this? we do it if you do not know this 70% of our work is in rural india where the poorest of the poor are okay it's free of cost you walk with me in tamil nadu you go into a village the entire village will gather not for money not for something else because they know there is some tools of transformation which they can make use of. So in the city, there is money involved simply because you want it in an air-conditioned room. Air conditioning is on right now. Whether I pay or you pay or somebody else pays, somebody is paying for it, isn't it? If you don't understand this, you have no sense of economy. That's the biggest problem in the country. People have no sense of economy, so they're always asking for welfare schemes. Give me this, give me that. But whether I pay or you pay, somebody is paying, isn't it? If what is paid is not accounted for, it's not going to work. This is the reason why we are poor, because we are not conducting our economics properly. Now spiritual process is about inner strength, especially if you are going through hardships. Inner strength is most important or no? That is the time to remove it. Is it there for the rural masses? Definitely there, much more. Seventy percent of our time we're investing. But when I come to the city, when I come to Delhi, activists come and invite me. Why are you only meeting the rich and powerful? Why are you not coming to the slum? I say the whole goddamn country is a slum and I'm traveling all over, when I come to Delhi, I want to meet only the rich and powerful. Let it be very clear to you, I'm not going to come to the slum in Delhi because the entire country is a slum if you've not seen. Thank you, sir.